the Bible says Jesus brought the man close to himself and Jesus said what do you want and this is the question that I think everybody would love to hear from Jesus and this man says Jesus I want to see I have been believing for a long time I've been seeing only dark I've been believing in light I've never seen light and what I want to have is I want to see what I've been believing and Jesus said it will be according to your faith and he let him see what he has been believing for I want to encourage every person in this room today if you believe in what you do not see Jesus will reward you by letting you see what you believe when you believe what you do not see Jesus will reward you by letting you see what you believe he will let you see that what you believe for he will let you see life that you believe for and therefore I pray I hope that what you believe is bigger than what you see I hope that what you believe is bigger than what you see today you might see pennies being tossed around you you might see being seated on the road while everybody is walking make sure what you believe is bigger than what you see because one day Jesus will come and he will say what do you want me to do for you and your answer should be I want to see what I believe and if Jesus answered to a man who's never seen a daylight in his life and he changed his circumstance and let him see what he's been believing, he will answer you and he will let you see what you believe also. Do you have a higher faith than what you're seeing with your physical eyes? Some of you are saying, you know what? It's not. I don't want to risk to believe in case I don't get disappointed and all of these things and I just want to play safe. The problem with playing safe is that you will have according to your faith and if your faith is according to your sight, it's just going to be the same, more of the same, more of sitting on the same road, more of the same pennies, maybe a little increase in that and the same thing. But uh, there was a man who in spite of the fact he's never seen anything in his life before, he decided to crank up his faith above his seeing. And Jesus comes to him and says, I'm going to bring your situation up to the level of your faith. Because you never brought your faith to the level of your situation. See, so many of us, we go through the week and we take our faith and we bring it down to the level of our feelings, bring it down to the level of our pain, bring it down to the level of our financial problems. Maybe you got laid off. Maybe you have sickness in your body. Maybe things are very challenging at home. Do not bring your faith to the level of your blindness because your faith can bring your blindness to the level of its belief. You can see what you believe for. Can somebody say amen? When Jesus is asking you a question, you can tell him, Jesus, I want to see. Not just believe for it. Not just stand for it, confess it and name it and claim it. But Jesus, it's my time to see what I believe for. I've been believing for this, been praying for this, been fasting for this. But this is my moment when Jesus, I can finally have it in my eyes. Not only in my ears, not only in my heart. This day is coming for you and this day is coming for me. There's some things already have happened. There was one man in the Bible who was blind and when Jesus touched him, the Bible says that he saw people like trees. But partially. And then Jesus comes and touches him again. And he begins to see every single thing clearly. God wants you to see what you believe for. But my challenge to you, please, don't bring your faith to the level of your feelings don't bring down your faith to the level of your circumstances because your faith can bring your circumstances to the level of your belief amen, amen. if you are sick don't bring your faith to the level of your pain let your faith be here even when your sickness is here because there comes a point when Jesus touches you and your circumstances picks up when you are poor and maybe it's been months you can't find a job have your faith right here 
when your finances is right here because your finances can always rise to the level of your faith amen lord i want to see